Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a quick tutorial on here as well as an on road demonstration of how to use and make the most out of your BMW Driver's Assistance Professional package if you have that on your car. So, with that, let's get started. All right, moving into right here. Easiest way to know if you have driver's assistance professional, you will have the adaptive cruise control options right here, as well as these two buttons right here. Now, any other one will simply have either a cruise control button or the limit assist. Usually the limit's down here if you don't have the adaptive cruise control section. So it'll say, yeah, resume, cancel, set, cruise, and then speed limit assist. This one is what you see when you get the uh, driver's assistance professional. So, you also get these little tiny lights up here. These are basically your warnings. I'll show you that also as we go forward uh, for when you're on the uh, demonstration drive as I get on the highway, um, letting you know you know what to see, what, do you, what you'll get here, and basically make the most of that system again. So, quick overview of all your buttons down here. This will turn your driver's assistance on. So normally you have this. When you press this button right here, this switches to driver's assistance mode. Up here, you will have your main road. You have the road that you are on or what it detects you're on, and you'll get these solid lines on the right on the right and left line. You know, hey, I know that I'm in a lane at this point. If you have lanes to the right or left, you'll get a gray lane on each side or whatever side you have on the road. I'll show you that again in our, in our demonstration later on. And what that'll also do is let you know if there are cars in the car's view. So, one of the other things that this thing does, it does something called traffic jam assist, which will also work when you're on the highway or back roads, where it can do cruise control at lower speeds. It's especially helpful just for getting moving um, at low speeds or in traffic jam situations. Now, moving on to the buttons right here again, this is gonna be your main turn on. So when you press that, that's when you get your main system up here. Mode, as you'll see up here, changes between either normal cruise control with the adaptive cruise or cruise control with driving assistance. So what that basically means is you'll either have adaptive cruise right here or driving assistance right here. Uh, as you drive along, this guy will go green, letting you know it's now it, it has detected a lane and you're now actively steering to keep you in the lane. And then the left one will let you know if you have a set speed. As you drive, this guy right here will tell you your current speed limit on the road that you're on, as well as you'll get a green set option to the left. Now you can set to the speed of the highway by simply pressing set while that option is up. And then you can increase or decrease your set speed using this little guy right here. These guys right here either decrease or increase your follow distance for the car in front of you. So as I press the left one, you'll see that has lower numbers. As I press the right one, that will slowly increase my follow distance up to four car lengths. Honestly, two or one car lengths is probably the best way to go. That way you don't feel like you're a mile behind the person. So that's what those guys are for. Now, canceling and resuming. So if you want, you can press that. That'll cancel your set speed temporarily until you press it again to resume your preset speed. Limit assist is basically similar to the way that your speed limit works. So as you press that, you will get a little tiny guy up here. Let's see, give it a press. See how that says limit? What that does is that detects whatever the, t the uh, speed of the road is. And when you press set for that speed, it'll basically give you a little tiny green line, letting you know this is the speed of the road and it won't let you accelerate past that point. Now, if you do take this guy all the way down to the kick down point, it will let you bypass that speed limit assist. Uh, but otherwise, most people being completely honest, don't find it necessary unless you have a tendency to really get in trouble with the popo. If you do, might be worth uh, looking into using speed limit assist. Otherwise, normal driving assistance is what you'll be looking at. Now, something else I will show you on our uh, demonstration on the highway in a little bit is as you're going along, something else you get is lane change assist. So, as long as you have a clear lane on either side of you while you're driving, you can simply put your turn signal on and you'll see your little lane thing expand and then a little tiny turn arrow and the car will change lanes, read the new lane, and then set itself for that. Again, look for that in the future. Hey, I'm gonna do in about 20 seconds. So with that, enough showing you the system. Let's go show it to you in action. All right, as I'm getting ready to go onto the highway here, you'll see that Caesar are in a lane. We're about to make this right onto the highway follow this car in front of us and as we do you'll see that this left 
gray lane after I made this turn. See, it went away. That's because we are currently on a one lane road. If you have multiple lanes, either to the right, to the left, or both, this will expand to show exactly that. That is part of your advanced driving assistance. Alrighty, so with that, here we go. I'm gonna sneak behind this guy to the left here, getting onto the highway. You'll see our speed's gonna change in a couple seconds from 35 to highway speed. There we go, 55. Down here, now I press set and activate driver assistance by giving this a press. And we're going to switch over to steering assistance as well. Now something I do want to show is as you're driving along, everything is green right now, but if you start to edge toward that side lane right there, come on, try and do it on purpose. God, driver assistance really doesn't want me to do it. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> anyway, driving down the highway, you'll see that it actually can detect the difference knowing that it's a truck in front of us versus a car as that car is driving there. I'm going to readjust our distance to make it shorter. It's going to increase our speed a little bit since everyone's going a little faster than preset speed limit. So, speed is up here on the left hand side by a green line. Posted speed limit's always going to be right below, right there. Driving along, you do have everything you need right here on your left thumb. Setting your speed limit to whatever the current speed limit is. Adjusting speed limit up and down. Everything in front of you will tell you exactly what you expect it to. It's gonna tell you there's a car, there's a truck, whatever it might be. Little green lights to the left here let you know that it is, oopsie, currently warning me to touch the steering wheel. Touch, goes away. The one to the left, that is your steering assist. If that is not, if you do not see that, and if I press this mode button, you'll see that goes away and lets you know you are in control of the steering. Press it again, you'll see it come back up, reads the scent, reads the lines, see is, are you in the lines? Are we good? Three, two, there it is. And just like that, now it's taken over steering. Now again, this is not for pure driving assistance, all it is. Putting on my turn signal, you saw there's that little tiny line right there. It does the lane change for you, detecting whether or not there are cars around you to make it easier and more effective lane change. Again, these are all driver's assistance. They're not made to be automated driving for yourself. They're simply there to aid your driving on highway, long drives. Maybe you're a little bit more on the tired side. You're not quite to the point where you need to pull over, but you know, it's a long monotonous drive. Something like this does help. So again, as you drive, this is your driver's assist. Ooh, green light, sorry. That is your driver's assistance. We're gonna get back on the highway here. Turn, turn, turn. All right, here we go. All right, let's get back up to speed. And... Three, two, one, merge. All right, see? Tells us that we're coming in here. Let's activate this. Set speed. Everything is good. We're set. Going to increase the speed for that so that way it knows to go faster. Now, if I put my left turn signal on while doing this, it checks, sees that it's free and open, does the lane change for me, assists me to go. Now it knows it's in the new lane as we move forward. So, watch as they're passing this car. Here's the car right there. It's very similar to the way that. Uh, if you've been in a Tesla and see how their system sees the road, it's very similar to that. The only difference is it doesn't use cameras in the same way, it's more based on sensors. So that is the one limitation for this one versus, say, Tesla Autopilot. But again, like Tesla Autopilot, here, let's put our right turn signal back on. It checks, no one's there, pulls me over in the lane, recenters itself. So that is how your driver's assistance professional works. And there's that car. See, that's not in the lane over there, in the lane in front of us, hello, as it drives up. So that is exactly how this guy works. And again, you can change your follow distance by using these little toggles on the left-hand side right here, setting your speed to whatever the current speed limit is. 
So see how there's a green set right next to it? Let's see if I can block that. There you go. A little green set next to the speed limit. That's basically what that is for. So now third lane is opened up to the right. We're going into that since we're hopping off the highway here. And again, this will always tell you lanes to the right and left. It can't see any further to the left. I know, I'll touch the uneven surface ahead. So by the way, that's a new that's a new sensor. There we go, there's the uneven surface. As we passed over that, 600 feet, we have more, 400 feet. And where is it? There we are. There's the uneven surface. Hello, sir. Thank you for the warning. We stay in our left lane here. I'm gonna take this off cruise control in just a second, just because we are coming to the end of this section. So we do that. This car there, touch the brake, hop off the highway. So with that, that is your driver's assistance professional package and how it works, how to make the most of it, and how to make the sense of the lights that you have on your steering wheel itself. Any questions, always feel free to reach out and we will happily help you out with any questions that you have. If you like this video, found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the videos. If you have any other questions moving forward, feel free to reach out. We are here for you. Thanks so much for being with us. Have a great day.